So as you know, pretty much everybody who's been playing uh, this game, FIFA Mobile, and who's been getting mystery signings every single week, have got 114 overall free ultimate team this season. And because of that, there is a huge market crush in, in FIFA Mobile. So we're gonna go and talk, talk about that today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you are excited for it. So as I said, just because we've all got free ultimate team this season, 114 overall cards, uh, market, market crush has happened in FIFA Mobile. Even though they're all untradeable, People who got uh, those 114 overall players, for example, at striker position, they didn't need that striker uh, anymore. The, the the strikers that they got uh, from the market and they sold them back. And same thing with center backs, center mates and all that. And just because of that, all the prices have gone down. Uh, all the players have gone down in price. If you go on and check, for example, for players, 116 overalls, 115 overalls, 116 or 117 overalls. They haven't gone down that much, even though they still have gone down. Uh, 116 overall Cannavaro Doris, for example, is still 1.6 million coins. But if you look at the uh, 115s and 114s, especially 114 overall Ultimate Team Listen players, they're going down in price a lot. I know my market prices are way very high uh, compared to other regions. I can't, I can't really do much about that. Uh, my players. Uh, on, in my region, the, the players, 114 overall ultimate team of the season players, are about 800 million coins, as you can see. But Rafael Leao, for example, the price is dropping a lot. He used to be 1.6, 1.7, 1.8 mil. He's now 800,000 coins. Same thing with every other uh, ultimate team of the season card. Uh, but not only ultimate team of the season, but other cards as well. For example, Vinicius Jr. is dropping in price as well. Uh, Weirds, as you can see right there, and all the other 114 and 115 overall cards. Um, there is um, 114 overall Matheus right there. He's about 500 million coins, as well as Nesta, who's about 570 million coins. But as I said, especially those one ultimate team of the season players that we've got. Can I? Okay, there we go. Team of the season, ultimate team of the season player, 114 overalls. They're dropping in price a lot. There is Rashford right there, who is 600,000 coins. He's gonna keep dropping as well. Vinicius Jr. the same thing. There is a Seco Fofana right there. Um, and a lot of people are trying to sell those Seco Fofana cards because a lot of people have actually packed that Seco Fofana or other central mid from the ultimate team of the season pack. That's pretty much the reason why these players are going down in price. But as I said, not only 114 overalls, 115 overalls are dropping quite a bit as well. Bellingham, for example, is now 1.2 mil. Not, not as much as 114s, but they still went down in price a bit. There is Osimhen right there, who is 1, 1 million coins right now, 1.2, but he's gonna drop a little bit more. Uh, and other 114 overalls, especially, they are they are dropping in price quite a bit as well. Uh, if you look at, for example, Ronaldo, he's 780,000 coins, um, and people are trying to sell those uh, Ronaldo cards, 750 mil, and he's got 120 listings, as you can see. People, 120 people trying to sell that card, as well as Cafu uh, and all the other cards. So what you need to do right now is pretty much you need to go ahead and buy players if you want to. The players are are still dropping in price, of course, but if you want to go in and build a team, I think that's the best way. Uh, that's the, right now. This is the right uh, right time to. Get yourself 114, 115 overall cards from the market if you want to. Don't get them right now. Just uh, put them into watch player, watch their orders, put them into your watch list. And uh, whenever you see that they are at their lowest price, that's the time when uh, you should go ahead and buy, that, uh, buy those cards. Tomorrow, I'm going to be upgrading my team. Uh, my team is not really that great, but I'm going to be upgrading it a lot. Plus 7, 8 overall or more at least. Uh, which is which is gonna be quite decent. I need some uh, new players in my team, and I'm gonna be getting some of those uh, players from the market, of course, uh, because I don't I don't really have any great left winger left wingers and left backs, for example. So I'm gonna be getting them from the market. Let's go ahead and actually check out if we've got any decent left back and left winger that I can get uh, for the amount of coins that I can spend on them. As you can see, Cap de Villa is 87 million coins. Yesterday, I'm pretty sure he was like 110 million coins in my market. So all that 111 and 112 overall cards are dropping in price as well. 110 overalls, every single card that is 114 and lower overall are dropping in price. Now, I don't want to get too expensive uh, lot back because in a couple of weeks, I'm still going to get 115 overall Roberto Carlos. So I want to just get a decent one that is going to be uh, that is going to be good enough for uh, for about two weeks because in two two weeks i'm gonna be getting or not two weeks three weeks in, in, in three weeks i'm gonna be getting roberto carlos either way so i'm thinking i'm gonna get like cap de villa or udogi udogi is like quite fast 149 pace cap de villa is great defensively and physically i think i'm gonna be getting this cap de villa card 
Um, 85 million coins is good enough for me. 111 overall is not that bad, and 112s are worth a lot more than 111. So I think, yeah, uh, even Alfonso Davis. I do like Alfonso Davis as well. I might watch uh, watch that card. Uh, put him in my watch list, and when whenever he's at his lowest, I'm gonna go in and grab him up. Uh, so I think that Alfonso Davis is gonna be a great one for me. And for left wing position, I do want to get a great one. There is a Rafael Leoder for 85 million coins. As you can see, so many people trying to sell that card because they have packed uh, Ultimate Team of the Season version of Rafael Leal or other left winger, for example, Huicha or uh, Vinicius Jr. or other ones. I might get, I might actually get 112 overall version of Huicha, for example, or Foden is only 150 million coins, but I don't think it's going to be that great in game. There are some other ones for 600 mil. So I think. I think this switcher card, St. Max actually, this St. Max card is not going to be bad, but I think I'm going to get switcher. I think, I mean, this Insigne is very, very cheap and he's still dropping in price and he's 100, 112 overall. So I might actually get that one uh, for the coin purpose, but I'm not 100% sure yet. But as you can see, all the 111s, 112s, 113s are going down in price, 114s even. And even some 115, 116 overalls are going down in price. So if you want to go out and build a team uh, with 111 to 114 overall cards, right now it's the right time to track their prices, put them into your watch list, and whenever they are at the lowest, you can go and grab them up from the market and build your team that way. Right now, this is my team. I've got bronze players in my uh, in my on my bench, so I'm gonna go and take them out. Let's see what overall I'll go right now, and then. Um, for tomorrow, as I said, I'm gonna go and build my team. Right now, my overall is 130, but I'm gonna go with auto build, and it's it's gone down. <laughs> it's gone down because my players have changed. Yeah, it is 113 overall, but I've got a Saliba right there that I'm gonna put in at center back. I'm gonna get a new left back and a new left winger, and a new striker, which is closer that I got from the exchange. Yeah, I think I think this team is gonna be quite decent now. I don't think I'm going to get a new central mid because I've got 111 overall Socrates is there already and I don't think I'm going to get a new central attacking midfielder. I'm going to get higher version uh, of cards uh, for, for free from other events. That's what I'm banking on anyways. And in goal, I obviously got Ter Stegen that I can use. So let's go ahead and put him in there. I'm going to transfer all those ranks into the new players, of course. Right back is going to be Cafu. Left back is going to be Alfonso Davis or Cap de Villa, most likely. Two Sancho backs. I like those two Sancho backs. They're licked and Saliva. I'm going to transfer ranks into them, of course. The same with the Bruyne ultimate team this season, uh, as well as with Salah and Close for the left wing position. I don't know who I'm going to get yet. I'm going to get one of the 112 overalls I'm ranking and I'm going to transfer ranks into Socrates as well and obviously upgrade all the skill boosts. I need to upgrade all the skill boosts. How much do they actually cost? Uh, 2 mil each. No, no, that's not that bad. 3 million coins from 17 to 18. That's not really that bad. So I'm definitely upgrading my team tomorrow. Anyways, this is going to be the end of the video for today. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and peace.